Welcome to Immortal Wisdom with Leon Denis. I'm Vanessa Saloni, and this is a series of 15 short clips on Leon Denis' chapters of the book After Death, which you can acquire at the website of the United States Spiritist Council. It's fascinating because today it's the sixth clip, and the chapter is about charity. And charity, in Leon Denis' words, is that feeling of love towards all human beings. Very interesting, loving action. And he begins this chapter by saying, many say, without this church, there is no salvation. Without this, there is no salvation. Without that, there is no salvation. But we in Spiritism, we understand that the law of life is such that without charity, there is no salvation. What is salvation? Salvation here may refer to this state of happiness, joy, of ease with ourselves, no guilt, no shame. How do we achieve it? Charity. What is charity then? It's not simple because we often say, uh, but if I am kind and loving, People may be unkind and unloving towards me. But Leon Denis says something we need to meditate upon. He says, if we judge these people in this fashion, isn't it because it pleases us to consider merely the bad side of their character, their flaws, passions, and weaknesses, forgetting all too often that we ourselves are not exempted from them? And that we are not less needy of kindness. Mm -hmm. So then he teaches us. Remember, this is about the pathway to a better life. In this chapter, he teaches us how not to surrender to evil or to pessimism and be charitable. He says, one can also find something positive in humans like qualities and virtues. Above all... There is much suffering. And let's not forget that Jesus himself said, I have come not for the healthy, but for those who are suffering, for the sick. And there are many people. If we care to be charitable as we should be in our own interest, as well as that of social order, when judging our fellow brothers and sisters, rather than focusing on what could give rise to gossip and slander, may we regard them specially as companions in trials, brothers in arms during the struggles of life. Let us consider the hardships they endure at the levels, at all the levels of society. Who doesn't have a wound hidden in the bosom of their soul? Who doesn't bear their so with sorrows and bitterness? If we adopted such point of view when considering others, our malevolence would be converted in sympathy very fast. And he says, instead of casting stones on those unfortunate people, let us endeavor to ease their pains, dry their tears, and to work with all our strength in order to promote here on earth a more equitable partition of the material goods and of the treasures of thought, meaning sharing what we know. And he says here, treasures of thought, which is very interesting because here we have many books, right? Books are true treasures. It's not only about books, but knowledge. How many people have knowledge and they are afraid of sharing because they feel they are not going to serve any purpose if they share. But remember, that is greedy, intellectual greediness. In one of the books, André Luiz, the book Liberation, by André Luiz, through Chico Xavier, we get to know that intellectual greediness does not end up good in the afterlife. There is this man who goes to the afterlife and he says, hey, I wasn't greedy. I was an intellectual. I wasn't a materialistic person. But then the spirits say, yes, you were. 
because you didn't want to share your knowledge with anyone else. You're just accumulating knowledge and you didn't want to share. You thought you were worthwhile just keeping it for yourself. And now here, you're considered to be vibratorily a greedy person. Surprise, surprise to us, right? Very surprising. But Leon Denis teaches us how to see people in a more charitable way, in a kinder way. And I have here my notes on this very chapter. He says we should talk when we observe people displaying these or those vices, we need to think, he says, about the hardships of their childhood. And the more I study in psychology, the more I study neuroscience, the more I also agree with Leon Denis. I know my opinion does not matter, but it's important to validate in a way with science. Material science is telling us it's true. Many people become this or that way because not only of previous lives, but this life, they acquired an emotional pattern. They acquired an emotional uh, and uh, material uh, movement as well towards life. And that's the reason why they behave in this and that way. So he says, do not cast the stones help people out and he says even more something that is quite striking he says how great is the task to tear them out of the disgraceful state they live in enlighten these people and help them move upwards on the rehabilitation scale everything is purified by the fire of charity and this is the sort of fire that kindled persons like Christ, like Vincent from Paul, and all those who transformed their immense love for the weak and the fallen, the fallen into the principle of their sublime abnegation. <laughs> Everything's purified by the fire of charity. So whenever we think, oh, it's not worthwhile helping people, who are poor because they are violent, they are aggressive because of this, that and the other. Think. Everything is purified by the fire of charity. Christ didn't have social status. He didn't have financial or intellectual accreditation. We're just saying, materially speaking, but we know he's above and beyond it all. And... Here we are, still taking our hat off and saying, yes, you were right. Jesus, you knew it and you still know it, because here we are. Science is bringing evidence day in, day out, that being compassionate, being altruistic, changes our genes Elizabeth Blackburn, Dr. Elizabeth Blackburn, got a Nobel Prize when she showed that a part of our DNA changes the telomeres when we feel more compassionate. So Jesus Christ was right. It's a matter of health. You are younger. You are more dynamic. We are more vivid, the fire of charity, when we give the best of ourselves, which actually is not ours. It's lent by God to us, through us. So why retaining anything? Just let the flow of God go through us. I like to make this noise so we imprint that in our minds. And he ends up this chapter by saying that there are different forms of charity. There's a material and a moral one. And I'll finalize by reading these excerpts. True charity is the one that in which we are benevolent towards everyone, patient 
and indulgent. Indulgent means being sweet and kind to the imperfections of others. Very hard. But as the more we say to ourselves, the more we are reprogramming our minds against old programs from previous lives. So it's worthwhile reading, telling, repeating, sharing. The more we do it, the more we are marching towards achieving it. There is no shame if we know it and we have not achieved it. What matters is keep trying, keep trying. Just like in the movie, you know, I, I like that passage from the movie uh, Finding Nemo when Dory says, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. And that's what we have to do. Just keep swimming up and forward and we're going to get there. And Leon Denis says, Be t being tolerant is a form of charity. Whenever it endeavors to dissuade it, does so gently without offending or shocking other people's ideas. Charitable individuals practice the good without showing off. They conceal their good deeds, whereas the conceited exalt the little they have done. That's what Jesus recommended to us, right? And he says, May we be generous to those who have lost the fight against their passions and have been dragged into the evil. Generous towards the sinners, the criminals, and the hard-hearted. Everything one does for one's fellow creatures recorded in the big fluidic book whose pages unwind through space. On these luminous pages are inscribed all our actions, our feelings, and our thoughts. And these debts shall be generously repaid in future existences. Nothing gets lost. Nothing is forgotten. The bonds that unite the souls throughout the times are those woven by kind actions done in the past. Eternal wisdom has determined everything for the being's own good. The good deeds performed down here become the fount of infinite pleasure for their authors in the future. Perfection for humankind can be summed up in two words, charity and truth. Charity is the virtue pars excellence, for its essence is divine. Do we need more? No. Leon Denis invites us to a better life, a life with charity. Let us practice it and let us share. Share these thoughts, share the feelings that charity can change everything. The fire of charity transforms everything. First ourselves and everything around. Let us meditate, enjoy it and live a better life.